Hello and welcome. This is how I edit our podcast from top to bottom. Uh, first things first, I've got an SD card from the camcorder. I can talk about uh, pre-production stuff in a separate video if anyone would like to see it. We do a fairly budget-friendly setup. Uh, I'm going to take the SD card. I have an SD to USB converter, so I'm going to plug that into the computer. And here's my SD card. Um, these are the files I want. So the first thing I'm going to do, this is DaVinci Resolve. I use this as my video editor. I'm going to start an untitled project. Um, it's a great video editor if you're on PC or Mac. It's very powerful. Um, it's a little demanding on your system if you don't have like a super good computer. If you have a really old or weaker computer, um, maybe try CapCut is a good program. Um, but I like DaVinci Resolve for uh, PC and Mac, it runs pretty well too. If you're um, on a Mac and you can't do DaVinci Resolve, iMovie is great. If you're on mobile, uh, CapCut is good, iShot is good too. A lot of options for, for video editing. But here we are in DaVinci Resolve. I'm gonna go to the Edit tab, which is what you'd see if you were in a video editor of, of any kind really. This, they're all gonna kinda look like this, where you've got a timeline here, a media pool, stuff for effects and things, um, an inspector, and a window for your footage and whatnot. So. I'm gonna go into File, Import, and I'm gonna import my media off of the SD card. I'm not gonna bother copying it to my machine and working off of my machine. You can work straight off of your SD card if you want. Uh, DSIM is the folder that the, the camera makes on your SD card. Here's the file. I'm gonna open that. Uh, it's gonna ask me to change the frame rate. So I'm gonna drag that onto my timeline, and that is the start of the project here. Next thing I'm gonna do is import my, um, I could have done this all at once, but I'm doing it separately just for the sake of demonstration. I'm gonna pull my audio files in. These are captured separately on a MacBook just off camera during the filming process. They're piped in from a USB interface through microphones like you're seeing right here. Um, but now I've got my audio here. This is my audio track and uh, I'm gonna pull that into the timeline. This is Felicia's audio track. We're gonna drag them in and now I've got our good audio tracks and um, this is the video track from the camera, and this is the audio track from the camera. I have a, a mic on the camera, but it's just for backup and syncing and stuff. So before I do anything, what I like to do is color correction. You don't need to do this. It's totally extra. It'll make it look a little nicer. Um, every video editor is gonna have a color correction tab. I don't know if you can tell, but the image on the video, it comes in a little warm, and you can see that it's warm, and by warm I mean it's a little more red, than it should be. Uh, I've got what I like to use for this is an RGB parade, red, green, blue parade. And uh, it shows where the levels are for all the colors. Color correction is its own thing. Don't worry about it if you don't want to do this. I don't know that much about it, but I know enough to make it look a little better. So here's all I do. I want to bring the blue up and the red down. Now you can do that manually with the color wheels over here. So what I like to do instead is I drag this temp slider and this will leave the green pretty much where it's at but it'll bring the blue and the red up. You can't see the blue, I'm gonna move myself. So there's the blue. Um, what I did was drag the temp slider. And uh, here's where it starts for this video, for this file. And I'm just gonna bring it so the blue is higher and the red is lower, and they're all about even. There's my color correction in a nutshell. It, it, uh, it cools off the image a little bit. Um, the only other thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the, um, the darks a little lower here and uh, the brights a little higher and I'm going to boost the saturation a little. And I like that. That looks good to me. Um, back over to the edit tab here. I'm gonna make myself a little smaller. There we go. Okay, so color correction's done. All the files are in. Now I have to start editing the video itself. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look for a point where it looks like everything is sort of the same. So the video and the audio started recording at different times, but I'm looking at the waveforms and these two match. So this is us talking. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hello, hello, welcome. welcome. All right, so there's the start of the episode itself. It's out of sync right now. We're going to fix that. First thing I'm going to do is cut out all the crap I don't want. In DaVinci Resolve, you can highlight everything and hit Control B. It'll cut where the uh, header is. I'm going to highlight that stuff, hit the Delete key. It's going to suck everything back to the beginning of the project. Now I'm going to zoom in and just manually sort of trim and sync things. Uh, I'm going to trim these back and bring them over. So now 
I've got, this is the camera mic, and this is my microphone. Now listen to the difference between the quality of the two of them. Hello and welcome to the My Dietitian Journey podcast. My name is Adam, your co-host. And, and uh, here's the microphone. Hello and welcome to the My Dietitian Journey podcast. My name is Adam. Your... That's why I do things the way I do. The room noise, the echo, the camera mic's not going to sound good. But um, these microphones, they do sound good isolating the audio. All right, so I need to sync things up and make them look and sound like they're together. And uh, one thing you run into sometimes when you have a uh, really long file like this, you'll get audio drift. And uh, here's what that looks like. So everything- Talk about the specific forms of it, but did you- Is together right now. There's there's the camera mic and my mic. Do you want to talk about some of the why? Right this- and at the end, channel would help us out a little bit. Have a show up a little more in the YouTube app. Huge delay. So all I'm going to do is every six or eight minutes, I'm going to bring them together again. It's it's audio drift. I'm not exactly sure why it happens, but it's just something that happens, and it takes like a minute or two to correct it. So all I do to correct that is um, I have everything is synced up at the beginning. Hello and welcome. So that's synced, but I'm going to cut the very beginning out here. And delete. All right. Hello and welcome to the my. There's the actual start of the podcast. So I'm going to go, I'm going to zoom out and go to about eight minutes in and just find a point to jump in and correct, which will, so you'll, you'll hear the echo here a little bit. So if they're going to do an app, you very subtle echo, but I'm going to correct it. And you can see that these aren't lined up anymore. That's kind of what I'm looking for. So I'm going to highlight just these two audio tracks. Control B is going to cut. You could also use the cut tool here. Every audio editor is going to have a way to cut footage. There'll be a hotkey or a, uh, a mouse option for that. So I'm going to cut there and then drag these over and line them up so that they look good together. Now they're going to sound in sync. So if they're going to do an app... There's no echo. It's not perfect, but she's speaking in sync with the audio now. I do it every eight minutes or so, every eight to ten minutes. So I'm just going to cut back when I've finished doing that throughout. Okay, we're all synced up. I made a few cuts in a few different places. You can see where the cuts are in the audio tracks. Everything's synced up. I'm happy with it. Uh, this is the end of the podcast recording itself. Um, one thing I'll do right now is highlight everything. I'm happy with this endpoint. Control B. I'm going to get rid of this stuff. And that's the whole file. So one thing that I do because I'm super lazy is I pull a still from the video and I make the thumbnail in my video editor instead of doing a, a full-blown thumbnail in an, in an image editor. It's a lot of work. I use GIMP for, for editing images, but um, you can just grab a still from your video and uh, use that instead. So that's generally what I'll do. But the first thing I'm gonna do before I do that, I pulled my still, I'll get back to that later. I'm in the audio editing portion of our podcast, and this is another thing that you don't have to do, especially if you're recording into uh, good microphones and you've got your pre-production stuff dialed in. I'll talk about that in another video if anyone cares to see what I do. But um, one thing I do is, because I have a background in music and audio, I, uh, I know how to do some of this stuff too. So first I'm gonna take, this is my audio track. I'm gonna name it Adam. This is Felicia's track, I'll name it Felicia. So one thing I'll do is I'll look and see where I'm bouncing around at in the, um, you don't need to see that. So this meter over here on the right side, if I hit play. My Dietitian Journey podcast. My name is Adam, your co-host and producer with me, of course, Felicia. That's not bad. Um, I'm bouncing around between like minus six and um, minus three decibels. That's kind of where I want to be. You don't want to be at zero. You don't want to be peaking your audio. That's where you lose data and it sounds bad. You get some distortion. So I'm pretty happy with the levels here. So I'm going to leave the volume alone. But what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to instead go into... Um, dynamics and we can do some things in here. The main thing I'm going to do is compression. Um, I'm going to add some compression. That's going to bring the quiet stuff up and the loud stuff down, kind of squeeze everything together, make it sound a little more even. Uh, I have Felicia and my track separately, so I edit them separately because uh, male voice, female voice come in a little, a little different. The frequencies are a little different, so certain things matter. Um, if you just want the quick and dirty for audio compression, if you're just talking, uh, it's a four to one ratio is good. 
that's typically what I stick to at the advice of um, some stuff I found on YouTube. It works. It's good. So then I'll I'll bring it up a little bit. To Peraza of Peraza Nutrition and my dietitian journey. So the quiet stuff's a little louder. The loud stuff's a little quieter, and uh, everything sounds a little more even. Uh, I'm happy with that. I'll leave that for now. Fortune links to the socials in the description. Yeah, I'm still bouncing around at minus five. I'll bring it up a little bit, uh, a little bit more. So I'm adding 5.6 in my makeup gain over here on the snob. Every video editor is going to have a version of this contained within it. That's my compression done. I'm going to go into my EQ. Uh, I'm going to roll off the ends, basically. Uh, the low frequencies and high frequencies, I'm going to chop them off. And, um, you know, you could leave it there if you want. But what I do is, um, well, the easy way is just to scoop the mids just a little bit. And this is just going to make it sound a little better. Hello and welcome to the My Dietitian Journey podcast. My name is Adam, your co-host and producer. It's a subtle difference. Um, you know, if you really want to go at it, what you can do is turn your Q factors up on here. Um, if you're not using DaVinci, I don't know what this looks like, frankly, but I can sweep the audio to pull out some some bad frequencies. So with me, of course, Felicia Peraza of Peraza Nutrition and My Dietitian Journey. Fame and fortune, links to the socials in the description. We're gonna get so, into some stuff. A little uh, different. I'm looking for like a harsh sound that I wanna pull out, basically. For this time, we're, we're focusing more, we're circling back to our roots. I don't like that. That's really whistly. Roots. Oh, yes. What we're talking about. Not good. So I'm gonna pull that out by like minus six, just to get a little bit of it out of there. They do this. This is something people do in movies when they're when they're editing um, uh, audio for like a movie. They'll pull out. They'll sweep the audio and pull out some bad frequencies. Um, this is a little extra if you don't want to do it. I I totally understand. Uh, so there's another one that I don't like. Producer with me, of course, Felicia Peraza of. Just sounds harsh. I'm gonna pull it out a little bit. It's hard to hear the difference, but when you're listening to audio for 10, 20, 30, 40 minutes and you're hearing like harsh audio, you end up getting something kind of like hearing fatigue or listening fatigue where you don't wanna to listen to it anymore. Uh, if it's not well produced, it can fatigue your ears. So I'm trying to avoid doing that to people if they're listening to our podcast for like, you know, a half hour plus or whatever. That's why I'm doing this. I just want it to sound a little nicer on the ear. I'm also going to add a, a de-esser which is going to take some of the sibilance off, that, that kind of sound on the S's in uh, a de -esser. That's why it's Focusing called a de -esser. So it's, back to our roots. you can see the we're reduction about, happening here. You know, how to be a dietitian in the practice. So, we're so on sh and s it's pulling some of that off. So uh, I'm going to put that in there. So I've got a de -esser. I've got my compression. I've got my EQ here. That's all I'm going to do for mine. And I'm going to do the same thing on Felicia's track. And then on the, the main output, all I'm gonna do is get in and add a limiter. And then I'm gonna bring that to uh, a ceiling of minus three so that the audio can't go beyond minus three. That way I don't run the risk of anything peeking out and uh, being too loud and distorting the audio. I always kind of look at, I mentioned that with a lot of so my patients. Felicia's compression there. I have them do like a seven day lock. Same thing. I usually have her come in a little hotter, so she's a little louder to begin with. Then I edit her down in a very similar way to the way I edit mine. If you're gonna do this sweeping the audio thing, you wanna leave this area alone. That's like your money frequency. That's the bulk of the good sound of the voice coming in around here. So try to stay away from like, you know, 50 to 500, I guess. Um, go beyond that, like 800, 1,000, 2,000, and so on. If you're gonna pull any frequencies out, you don't wanna pull the good stuff out. So that's the last one I'll pull out. You know, if you wanted to be just quick and dirty with this sort of thing, you could just take one of these and just pull out like a big section right here. They call it scooping the mids, and uh, it's effectively the same thing. I'm just being a little more precise with doing that. That's all. Same de -esser. It'd be important in terms of like how frequent their meals are throughout the day. Taking off for the S's and whatnot. This is all extra. If you don't want to do it, don't worry about it. So the audio's done. I'm happy with that. From here, all that's left is to export the file. I'll export the video file call it self-monitoring, and then uh, export it to my desktop. Frame rate 24, that's a good frame rate for just people talking. That's the frame rate if you watch movies or whatever, that's the frame rate usually. Um, I'll export it as a video, but I'm also going to export it without the video, audio only, as an MP3, and that's what I'll use for the podcast. I'll add that to the render queue also, 
And uh, that's it. I hit export, upload to YouTube, and that's the whole editing process for our podcast. So any questions, concerns, feel free to leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.